Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare Dr. Harsh Vardhan today inaugurated four different blocks of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Lamphil Pond. The Union Minister arrived yesterday in Imphal on a two-day visit. Talking at the inaugural function held at the Jubilee Hall of Rims, Dr. Harsh Vardhan lauded Rims for its contributions rendered in the health sector. A teenage boy died yesterday after a gunshot at Kakwa Narim Lekai Sofa Leirag Singjame, Imphal West. The boy has been identified as Arke Kasper, aged 16 years, son of late Arke Dansana of Kakwa Huidrom Lekai, staying at his maternal house in Kakwa Narim Lekai. The incident happened during a heated up argument between two families regarding property. Another seven persons were also injured during the clash that took place last night around 11 p.m. Representatives of various civil society organizations, community leaders and women organizations based in Moray today staged sit-in protest condemning the bomb blast which took place last evening at the Kunai Resort, Moray. Meanwhile, members of Midday Council Moray and civil society organizations of Moray Town called for an indefinite total shutdown at Moray Town condemning the blast. It may be mentioned that some miscreants hurled a hand grenade in front of the hotel owned by Midday Council Moray President Mayang Lambam Toiba. The impact of the blast damaged parts of the first floor and window glasses. However, no one was injured in the blast. Under the aegis of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Department, Yenning Animal Foundation and Manipur Dog Lovers Club, Youth Progressive Organization jointly organized a one-day free anti-rabies vaccination camp today at Yaripok Top Ching. More than 50 dogs and cats were immunized at the camp. Officials of Veterinary Department along with the members of Yenning Animal Foundation and Manipur Dog Lovers Club were present at the camp. In the last 24 hours, India recorded 16,752 cases and 113 deaths, bringing the total COVID count to 1 crore 10,96,731, with the number of deaths reaching 1,57,051, according to the Union Health Ministry. As per a media report, total active cases stand at 1,64,511 and the number of people vaccinated have amounted to 1 crore 43,1266. During a high-level meeting yesterday, the centre pushed for an aggressive vaccination drive in states with a high number of cases, namely Maharashtra, Punjab, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Telangana and Jammu and Kashmir. In Manipur, the coronavirus active cases have climbed to 44 with 11 fresh new cases were reported in the past 24 hours, according to COVID-19 Common Control Room. The total count now stands at 29,271. The fresh cases were reported from Imphal East, Imphal West, Tobal, Senapati districts. The recoveries have reached 28,737. The recovery rate is 98.57% as of 11 a.m. today, while the death toll stands at 373. Department of Education as Science Unit observed the State Level Science Day 2021 today on the theme Impacts on Education, Skills and Work at the Auditorium of MSFDS, Palace Compound, Imphal. Education as Commissioner T. Ranjit, Education as Director L. Nanda Kumar, along with other experts from colleges and universities of Manipur, were present during the occasion. Indian Space Research Organization's ISRO first launch of 2021 PSLV C-51 carrying Amazonia-1 and 18 other satellites took off from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharikota, this morning. PSLV C-51 rocket, which is the 53rd mission of PSLV Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, launched the Amazonia-1 of Brazil as primary satellite and 18 co-passenger payloads from the first launch pad of the Sriharikota spaceport in Andhra Pradesh's Nalore district, about 100 km from Chennai. The Meghalaya government has allowed the reopening of schools for all classes, including kindergarten, in the state from March 1. 
According to an Education Department notification, attendance will not be enforced and will depend entirely on the consent of parents. As per a media report, school authorities have also been given the liberty to either resume offline teaching or continue with online classes. Before reopening, the school management committees will have to consult parents and other stakeholders, including district offices and local communities, the report added.